let's try this. Welcome to Noodling Notes, part one of an ongoing series. In these videos I don't bring you tutorials, I don't want to review the modules, but I want to take you on a journey to discover them with me. I came to the idea because I have the Leibniz binary subsystem, you can see here. I bought it a few weeks ago. I wanted to have it for a long time, but it was yeah, always this expensive and unknown mysterious subsystem from inside Europe. And of course I could find manuals online and there is a great thread on Modwiggle and yeah it seemed like this kind of modules I really love because I have no idea what exactly they are doing and let's start and I thought um, because you can do really so freaking much with that modules I start with some really basic stuff and that's making distortion with the Dresner Lift module. And to bring a little bit of fun into these videos and not only talk about how they work and how I understand them, um, I want to take a little breaks here and there and make some musical sketches and ideas or chatting a bit with the information. We get it. First, it's always important to adjust your levels. And it's really important with the Tresno module. For fun parts or to be accurate. You have gain and offset sliders for the left half and the right half. Analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter. I introduce the signal. You see on the oscilloscope that there is clipping happening. I reduce the gain and now I'm adjusting the offset. Now I have the full signal in, but you can use it like you want. You can introduce some clipping and adjust it with the offset slider, can be fun. Now we come to a distortion and some kind of wave shaping. Like in the first part, I can introduce distortion by clipping. And adjust it like I want. After adjusting the level of the signal, we can introduce some digital distortion by flipping bits with Lipsk. Watch on the oscilloscope. I go from the least significant bit to the most significant bit. So, with the possibility of flipping individual bits of the original signal, we can build our own custom distortion effect. A few examples. The settings of the gain and offset slider of the input of the Tresner have a drastic impact on the sound of the distortion created by Lipsk. So you can introduce some basic wave shaping.
You can see V control the flipping of the bits and so introduce rhythmic behavior in your distortion. with self-patching in the Leibniz binary subsystem. You get a different flavor of distortion if you take different bits from the output of the analog to digital converter and patch it into the lips to flip bits. So for example for the first try I take bit number 7, so the most significant bit, and patch it into the lips input of bit number 4. First, listen to the bit number 4 distortion without self-patching. Now with self-patching. As you can see on the oscilloscope as well, it's a different waveform. Continue with further bits. Introducing the filter. A small little sequence. You can still play with the lips flipping. Without the self patching, a different kind of distortion.
wave shaping the distortion. Like I mentioned before, the Dresno itself has no CV inputs for the gain and offset sliders, but as we discussed before, you can introduce some kind of wave shaping if you adjust them. So, to introduce some animation of the wave shaping, I made this patch where I take the raw oscillator output and feed it into a VCA and from there back into the Dresno input. The gain slider is full up offset now. You can put it wherever you want for in that case. So if we now introduce the volume, we're feeding the signal back into Dresno and introducing the wave shaping. So if we stay above a certain level, we can wave shape. And of course, we could animate this, because it has a CV input. If I take the raw LFO from Batumi here, into the VCA, we have the problem that um, because we're only changing the volume of the incoming signal, that you have the full range of the LFO, that we have the wave shaping part, but we also drop to zero volume. So if you have a module like the Wales for Mutable Instruments, it accepts CV as well because it's DC coupled. So if we put this into the mixing, bring back the signal, we can animate the wave shaping and I synchronize the LFO to my sequence. You can create rhythmic wave shaping distortion. And you can get pretty extreme with it. Opening up the filter, changing the speed again. Again, adjust the offset slider 